Look, I get it. You're tired of buying proper Arduinos and spending loads of money on the official ones, so you go onto eBay or Amazon and you decide to buy a clone, a bootleg Arduino, and you plug it into your computer and it doesn't work. Now, the main reason for this is probably because this Arduino does not have a bootloader on it. Most Arduino clones are made cheaply, but they still have all the hardware that's required to run it. As you can see, this Arduino is not quite as nice. This one has a removable chip, this one doesn't, and this one might have fewer components, but it's still a working Arduino. It just doesn't have the software on it that's required to make it work. So what is a bootloader? Well, a bootloader is the part of an Arduino that runs before anything else. So when the Arduino is first turned on, the bootloader is run. The bootloader initializes the Arduino. It's found in this chip. And the bootloader is the same, whether you're using an Arduino Uno or an Arduino Nano. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to burn the bootloader onto an Arduino. In order to burn the bootloader onto an Arduino, you're going to need one of two things. First, an ISP program. Now, these are quite expensive. You can buy them off Amazon or eBay. Or what you need is a working Arduino. I'd really recommend going for this second option. Uh, the ISP programmers are often quite expensive and they don't really have many other uses. If you don't have an actual Arduino, I would really recommend borrowing one from a friend. You're only going to need it for a short while. Also, you only need one type of Arduino. So if you have a bootleg Arduino Nano, you can actually program that from an Arduino Uno. So all you need is one proper board. There are two main ways of burning the bootloader from Arduino to Arduino. One of them is by using these normal pins. And the other is by using these special ISCP pins, usually at the end of an Arduino board. Now in this video, I'll show you how to do it via the ISCP pins. If you want to do it through the normal pins, check out this video here. So what you're going to need for this is six male to female jumper cables. So take the male ends and take your proper Arduino. And the pins you're going to need to connect are first of all, five volt and ground. This will provide power to the Nano. If you're ever unsure if you've stuck it into the right pin, because it can be hard to see this way, usually the writing's on the side, this one's a bit worn. And then you will need to connect the rest of the pins to 13, 12, 11, and 10. Like so. Now this one's a little harder than doing it through the normal pins because you need to know which one goes where. So five volt will go to pin two and ground will go to pin six. Now the ISCP pins are done like so. One, two, three, four, five, six. So five volt, which is this yellow wire and ground, which is this green wire. Five volt goes to pin two and ground goes to pin six. Like so, this is going to get very busy very quickly. Pin 10 goes to five and pin 11 goes to four. So this orange is pin 10, pin 10 will go to five. And pin 11, which is this red one, will go to four. If I can stick it in, that is. This way is much more fiddly than just doing it with the normal pins. And finally, pin 12 will go to 1, and pin 13 will go to 3. Like so. Make sure the wires are fully stuck in. And now, we need to upload the code. So, what you're going to need to do is take your proper board and connect it to your computer. Let's see what we need to run. So, what you're going to need to do is open up the Arduino IDE, which you should have installed by now. If not, you can find it on the official Arduino website. Open up to any sketch, go into File, 
examples, Arduino ISP, Arduino ISP. That's going to open up in a new window. And this is the code that we're going to need to upload to your programmer board. But before we upload it, we can have to mess around with the tools first. So make sure you have the correct board selected. In this case, we're using an Arduino Nano. So I'm just going to go ahead and select Arduino Nano. Select the correct port, which it is. And then select your normal programmer. Upload the sketch. This might take a while. Once the sketch is uploaded, go into Tools, select your programmer to Arduino as ISP, and then hit Burn Bootloader. Once the bootloader is burned, go into Tools and select your standard programmer again so you can continue using the Arduino. That's it. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.